Hello there, this is Nizzle, and I wanted to share with you my personal experience with Wild Stars so far. Okay, other than the long queues, the game is actually pretty fun, so I just wanted to show a little bit of things that I've found out in the game while I've been playing. Uh, here's my Chua. Here is her dance. And there's the other dance. You actually get two dances. Here she is just rocking out at a concert. Yeah, look, listen to that. So right here we have the costume spot, and I'll show a little bit of that. Uh, you can have costumes. You just put the uh, costume stuff right in there, and you can either set it to look at your normal gear or to set it to your costumes. And you can do that in your uh, little character page too. Bring that up in just a sec. But first I've decided I'm going to run around a bit. So here's all your gear and your character slot and stuff, and then you can just turn your costumes on and off with that little button there. Ah, I just got invited to a guild. That was nice. So right here is one of the uh, paths abilities. This is the settler ability. Can, settlers can put these little uh, buff spots up in towns and other areas and you can just click on them and you get buffs. So this is a place where you can rent a hover bike, fly around a little bit. Uh, I don't think it costs anything. Uh, once you get off or get attacked, your hover bike goes away, but it's a quick little way when you don't have a mount uh, to get around to your next quest area. And here's the what the chua looks like when they're swimming around. I think it's adorable. I find a lot of games they don't include swimming under the water and I always enjoy it. It's always very pretty and tranquil under the water. So here's the taxi service. It, uh, it'll take you around to any uh, locations that you have been so far. And uh, where you go, the taxi driver music? actually tells jokes. I don't have any myself, but hey. Feel free to hum. So I'll just let you guys watch me take a taxi drive and you can listen to the taxi driver. Interplanetary negative power coupling protocols? <laughs> Don't get me started. Picked up this geezer one time, kept insisting if I did 88, I could go back and die. Said he used to be a human cabbie back when he was starting out. Yeah, you try to humor the old ones, you know. First of us off the assembly line were the old kind, you know, with wheels and humanoid operators. It's a miracle anyone survived. My last gig was at this mineral extraction facility on Arborea. But I wasn't happy there. Too much on my mind. Ah! Yeah. 
Yeah, that transmats are okay if you just want your molecules scrambled, but when you teleport, you miss out on the view, the time to reflect and whatnot, the anticipation of arrival, and my scintillating company. Ha! <laughs> Bad neighborhood here. You don't want to be walking around these parts at night. Hey, I've been a cabin for 30 years, and I'm telling you, you don't walk around here at night. Those crazies will strip you 10 seconds flat. So this is the place where you'll buy yourself a little plot of land to build yourself a house, and apparently the houses are very customizable. Inside here are going to be some little rooms and things that you can put on your land and inside your house. I believe you can start building houses at level 15, I believe? This is the spots that you can set your waypoints to, so you can teleport to yourself wherever your waypoint is set. All items carry so here's the mount vendors. Uh, you can get a mount at level 15, they cost about 10 gold. And here's some look at the uh, Dominion ones. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm going to end this video with showing you a couple of the Esper abilities. Bye!